Welcome, 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 my little babies. I tell you what, this is the next episode of Sunny and the Show. I'm your boy Sunny, and I'm gonna get to know you as you get to know me. But I'm putting myself out there first. And I'm gonna say thank you for being here with me. Thank you for hanging out with me. And I love you. I do. I love you. And it's a uh, what is it? It's Tuesday night, and there are more people here than you can ever possibly imagine. I know. I look like. I look like a vagrant. I look like a, you know, one of those guys doing nothing, hanging around, whatever. I look like the guy begging for change, and I don't, I don't mind that guy so much. But I tell you what, I don't, I don't know if I like looking like him. I tell you what, I'm doing. I tell you what, I've got going on here. I haven't shaved in a couple of days because here I go growing my beard back out again. I just realized it looks like I got a little bit of hair on my face or something like that, but, uh, you know, you know me, it's all good, and, uh, I tell you, oh my goodness, I just watched, uh, there's watched a movie called The Fighter, and, uh, Mark Wahlberg, Christian Bale, and I don't, I don't know nothing about it, all I do is I watch it, I like it, I say, it's pretty cool, but, watching it, I got a little jazzed up, I got a little jazzed, I got a little, got a little, a little uh, fighting spirit in me right there. And, uh, I'm sorry, I was kind of down last night. I didn't feel very good. I, you know, I kind of, I kind of had a uh, case of the, you know, whatever that was. But uh, it's all, it's all good now. It's all good. But because maybe I had the Monday blues. Do you know? Maybe yeah, I just had the Monday blues. I'm gonna try to get, I'm trying to get rocking and rolling for a uh, Tuesday. I'm gonna come at, I'm coming at you and I'm gonna hit you, I'm gonna hit you, hit you hard tomorrow night. You know, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta do a good one tonight, we gotta do an update session. Tomorrow night, we gotta do a, we're gonna do a, we're gonna do a Thursday, Friday episode that's gonna blow your hair off. See, look at, look at what happened. I already had something that already blew my hair off. I've been hanging out with Woody Harrison. He is the handsomest handsome of the ever handsome he just had a birthday too uh love you i love you wood um you know all, all my good friends back there today uh you come you, i'll tell you what matthew uh woody you know my boys you, you come down here you come down here uh, uh to my town well, well i'll take you out we'll we'll go get us a uh, we'll go get us a uh, tomahawk steak that's uh, bigger than uh, bigger than your head. How about that? Uh, and I tell you what, uh, halfway through a tomahawk steak, my body says no more. Say no more. Say no more, Sonny. No more. I say no more. Ain't no muss. He threw away the towel. With that tomahawk steak. He's laughing at you, boy. You know, because it's coming down. It's all coming down right now. It's like an elevator coming down from the past through lobby. I tell you what, you're not gonna defeat me. No Tomahawk steak is gonna decide to beat me. No, sir. I fought bigger and harder and stronger and better all the time. This is what I do. This is, what, this is who I am. And I love you because you better find out. You better ask somebody. I'm tough because I have to be. But Maybe I am tough. Maybe I'm not the toughest ever. I'm not, I'm not ever gonna be the toughest ever. That's too bad. I tell you what I do. I'm not gonna let, I'm not gonna let that steak defeat me ever in my life as a piece of food ever decided to defeat me. But, um, you know, I, I, that's kind of funny. I'm gonna sit here and throw the trash against the tomahawk steak. I've been talking way too long about this thing. I tell you what, though. I, uh, wow, look at that. I almost, I almost, ooh, it's, uh, it's a surreality. I tell you, um, when I was a little kid, I didn't like to eat. I didn't like anything, really. I did eat a little bit, but then I would run and play and cut. And, uh, you know, little boys chasing little girls. That's, that's what we do. It's, uh, that's, that's the whole thing about the whole thing, man. Um, you know, 
No. I, uh, well, that's nice. That feels good. A little bit of, little bit of wind in my, uh, in my, in my hair there, boy. Uh, here we go, my U-turn. Um, yeah, I'm, you see, you see I'm kind of trying to stall. I'm outside the studio right now. Uh, I'm out, <laughs> I'm outside stage four right now, and I'm having the time of my life. Uh, if you listen close enough, you can hear Tacey Andrews and her, hang on, hang on, hang on. What do you hear? Yeah, you go, little girl. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, I, I, I hear that. Hopefully that uh, that was or wasn't picked up on the, uh, the sound. Oof. My goodness gracious! But um, here, I mean, here we we need to get on to another subject because that was a. That was not so delightful. Um, I know, I know. There's, I know. There's a thousand people around them, and there's photographers, and there's cameramen, and there's agents, there's managers, there's directors. You know, there's, there's producers. There's, you know, whoever. There's, uh, you know. All, there's all kinds of people. You know, there's a billion people around you at all times. So, when I drive by somewhere and uh, something like this, I drive by somewhere and huh, hear you screaming like that. Uh, yeah, not, uh, that's an old term that my uh, my grandmother used to say, screaming like bloody murder. That's, I don't know, is that something that, yeah, I mean, and it's not, it's not particularly sounded good, it doesn't, it doesn't sound good. I know that she's, uh, her, her and girls like her, uh, they scream like that. And they, they do it for a good reason, you know. It's an attention thing. I know exactly what's up. I've been around this business for a day or two and I see girls that are doing all kinds of weird stuff. Um, you know, cool, let them do the thing. If she was hurting, if she, something was hurting, hopefully there's a billion people. And, you know, our guy, our boss, he's, he's a good guy. You know, he's a great guy. Because he's got, you know, he's got nurses and he's got medics and he's got all kinds of people standing around just in case something happens. The funniest thing in the world, two people were uh, doing the thing uh, at one time, not as long ago, about a month ago, and he rolled the wrong way and she rolled in and he rolled out, I guess, and he cracked her right in the nose with his elbow and it just elbow right straight to the nose and uh, blood went everywhere you know they got her patched up they had her fixed up and uh, they did her kind of like a, a heavyweight boxer I guess just uh, just did that thing so you know she's not when you hear somebody moaning like that screaming like that you think the first thing you think is damn that's pain but stop it it's not pain you know it's just just the way it is. But I tell you what, uh, I think sand, sand noise is kind of like that. We put on a couple different, uh, a couple different years ago. My phrases don't make any sense right now. A couple years ago, my uh, my company put on this haunted house. They're great, and this, you know, greatest bunch of guys. Okay, in this very first room that you go into. Okay. It's kind of a dark room. There's not much in there, but there's a little cutout piece in the wall. And in that, there's a girl, and uh, she's got a thing wrapped around her neck, and uh, she's screaming, "Help me! Help me!" And I went nuts. Yeah, I went nuts. And uh, get me out of here! Just get me out. 
Raising that off from a little haunted house experience, so uh, you know nobody's playing that game. But I tell you what, there was a time in my life that uh, that has made me particularly sensitive to certain sounds, and uh, I feel like a dork because when somebody's screaming, "Help me! Help me!" You know what do you do? You know what do you do? Um, there's been people that I've seen that, that uh, have a hole right through, right? You know, right through the middle of somebody, there's a hole right there. And, uh, you know, what are they screaming? They're screaming, help me, help me. What are you doing? You can't do shit about it. You just, you just kind of watch them go. And uh, the saddest thing in the world is watching that little light, you know, watching that little light go out in someone's eyes. But I tell you what, it's a fun. It's a fun thing. It's a. I mean, it can be really enjoyable. But I'm not trying to be a downer about all this stuff. I'm not trying to be a buckle. I'm just saying. It sounds like that. You know, it sounds like loud. You know, surprising little stuff like that. It kind of gets me. Uh, gets me uneasy. It's. You know, I tell you what though. It's. It's all right. It's gonna be okay. Um, yeah, it's fine. It's absolutely, it's all good. Right up here is kind of funny. We crossed by the old, uh, the old fashioned radio broadcast tower. Um, we still got this thing going. Right down, if anybody knows, what we're, if anybody knows what's going on, there's a little bit uh, everybody airport right back, uh, around the way from where we are. Um, you, I mean, you kind of know. So, here in just a second, I'm going to turn this corner. I'm sorry, there's so much wind in my face right now. But, uh, I'm actually driving a thousand miles an hour. And, uh, the wind, the wind is blowing right in my face. So, I apologize to you for that. But, uh, once again, I want to tell you thank you for tuning in. You know, what, what's going on. I've had a pretty excellent day. Uh, it, it turns out, uh, my, my little shout out last night, turns out CJ was doing a bit better. Uh, you know, I know, I know she's still, she's still gonna go, uh, when she goes. But, uh, maybe, maybe not right now. I just, I don't look forward to that. Uh, I don't look forward to her going because she's really cool. She's really nice. She's a really nice lady. I like her a lot. She's really smart. She's really been around the block a time or two. That's, that's a nice thing to be. But uh, I love her. Shout out to her. Uh, I, I would say get, get better soon, but you know what, CJ? I just want you to be happy. If going home makes you happy, go. Go on. You ain't doing us any favors by sticking around. Right there, the uh, question radio tower. I see Blink in the background. Uh, and look at my little mustache. It looks like uh, it looks like a big pile of dookie. That's all right. Um, every once in a while, as I'm, as I'm driving around a lot here, I like to uh, you know survey everything. I like to uh, I like to see what I can see. And every once in a while, outside of these buildings, I don't like to film it at all. But You'll see these girls that step outside of the, uh, you step outside to have a cigarette or whatever, and it's so funny because sometimes they're in a row, sometimes they're in high heels, and it's just like, uh, you know, sometimes the girls step outside of the, uh, of the studio and, uh, and they get makeup running down their face because they've been sweating and crying and uh, laughing and, you know, doing all kinds of partying and having fun. And, you know, I was just doing whatever, and um, but uh, I tell you, I wouldn't do anything else. I don't want to do anything else. I love it here. I spent um, I spent most of my most of my time here, and uh, I don't know I don't know what uh, I don't know what happened, but uh, at some at one point I was um, I turned 23 years old, 
and I uh, had a little bitty joke of a job. And uh, it was silly, it was a silly job. And one of my buddies said, why don't you go try this? And um, I was in school, and so I took a couple classes and uh, got on out here. Uh, well, I got on, you know, with this company back there. And then, not too long ago, we, we all moved out here to this thing. But, um, we could, <laughs> we, had, we had a lot of fun doing that. And, uh, as, but as far as this place goes, I don't want to do anything else. You know, um, I just, I don't, I don't want to, because I just don't care. Here it is, it's coming up on midnight, and it's, you know, it's what? It's 90 degrees. You know, it's 120 degrees. It's, uh, start giggling in the corner, you know. <sighs> well, on that note, we can't make jokes about the devil. No, I don't think I need to do that. Uh, no, 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 It's not me that you all want to hang out with. It's this. It's this awesome beer. You know, it's this. It's this beer. And everybody says, "Ooh, look at that beer." Yeah. Nobody said that, but I wish they would. I wish somebody'd be like, "Oh my god, oh my goodness, it's uh, Sunny in the Show and the Beard." So I should change the name of the show to uh, Sunny in the Beard. Um. No. That's what it's going to be. So, until next time, uh, keep your party hats on. Both your heads. Do, you know, do what you have to do. Uh, you know, keep your, you know, the reason you keep your party hats on, keep your, uh, keep the pet population down. I didn't say that, did I? But all of you guys, to behave yourselves. Behave yourself. Throw, throw the old handlebar mustache at them sometime. You know, make it make it look like you're uh, the old kindly barber from the uh, from the old days. You know, throw that mustache at him. I don't know. Drive a car with a license plate that says Robin One. That's what you could do. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, guys. That was probably bad advice, but. For now, for this Tuesday, I am going to hit the road. Because hitting the road is what I do, but I hope it doesn't get back. So, I love y'all, and I'm up.